Okay, so it's that time of year again. Hot out in the summer, AC. AC units are uh, going kaput in some cases, so I'm just going to show you uh, one of the main, one of the problems that could possibly come up with the AC. And it's really, it's the one you want to have happen. It's basically just your, your fan motor goes and most likely your capacitor, um, which will turn on the fan motor and keep it running just to make it simple. Before you do any of this kind of stuff, and I'm not, I'm not advocating that you do this, by the way. If you're really handy and you understand electric and things like that, this maybe will, will help you and you can do it yourself. Um, other than that, call a professional, but I just want you to understand it so you see what it is. Make sure that you turn your power off to the unit. And I always double check it with a pair of testers just to make sure that it's all off. Um, and then I just took out the old motor. The motor that I took, you take the fan off, take the old motor out, Bring it to your supplier, tell them you need a motor to match, and then you take your capacitor out. The capacitor was located right in here. You can see it. Unplug it. Make sure that you mark which colors go where so you know, so you can remember. And then when you get your new capacitor, again, you'd bring that to your supplier. You would just make sure you use the same terminals for the same color so that it matches. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hook this up now, and then I'll show you how I did it, and uh, hopefully we'll get some AC in this 105 degree heat here in Charleston, South Carolina. So you'll notice I just had to cut this off because this was made, for, it's a long shaft, and I just cut it off. I used the Sawzall to cut that. Now I've got to cut these bolts. I'm just showing you this to know that it, you might have to make it a custom fit.